don't let what you feel dictate what you feel or what you know about God, about who he is, about what he has done for you, about the truth, about God as our creator, our savior, our redeemer, as God, as our father, as the Holy Spirit, the counselor, the comforter. A lot of times we will allow what we feel to be the guiding force of the decisions that we make. But we have to be careful because what we feel is not truth. Scripture is truth. What Jesus says about us is truth. What Jesus declares about himself is truth. The Bible is the foundation of truth. We need to put aside what we feel and go off of what God's word says and that only. Don't let your feelings lead you into something that can destroy you. Sometimes we feel something about someone, about something, about some situation. And if we're not careful, we can make our feelings lord over that someone, over that situation, over that position or place that we're in. We have to be careful not to allow what we feel to become lord over the things of our lives right? Over the things in our lives, right? So I say that to say, I'm a person that feels a lot. I don't know about you guys, but I, I feel like God made me a filler. And lately I've had to fight off my feelings and just grab onto faith in Jesus that, hey, you have called me into this life. You have set me here in this position. You have called me to be a husband and you have given me a wife. You have given me a career. And even though sometimes I don't feel like it's all working out, what is the truth about the situation? The truth is everything that I'm in right now that is going well for me in my life is all in God's will. So it's good. And the enemy and our flesh will sometimes, if not most of the time, make us feel as if things are going wrong, but the devil is a lie. We must stand on the word of God and not our feelings. Don't allow your feelings to distract you from your purpose, from loving others, from sharing the gospel, from being Christ-like from a relationship with God. Don't let what you feel deter you from the destiny that God has placed in your life, from what he has spoken over your life. Don't let what you feel break you because your feelings aren't facts. What's facts is God's word. Now, when I say your feelings are not facts, I'm not saying that when you feel in love uh, with your husband or your wife, or maybe you love um, your soon-to-be spouse, et cetera, et cetera, or your family. I'm not saying that that's not real. What I'm saying is that you must base everything that you even feel off of God's word. You must line it up. You have to use the mirror of God's word to say is this really love or is this really this or that? Because you have to be careful about what you feel in life. Feelings are not faith. Do you think that Jesus felt good going to the cross? Do you think that Paul felt good before he was executed? Do you think that John felt good before he was beheaded? Do you think that uh, uh, St. John the one who wrote uh, the Gospel of John, do you think that he was 
feeling good all alone on the island of Patmos. I'm pretty sure that their feelings in the situation weren't pleasant, but nevertheless, they endured through feeling into fact that God's will must be done and God is great and his name is worthy to be praised. I hope this message blesses you. Have a great Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe. Love each other and be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ.